how much? Uh, out the door taxes and everything. I think it's ninety-seven thousand. Ninety-seven thousand. Uh, I got somebody on their way now to come pick it up. Apparently, we'll see. Can wow. I get the interior? That's all I want. Ninety-seven thousand dollars. Man, we've been admiring this car for an hour. <laughs> sure have. <laughs> wow. Okay, thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. No problem. That's beautiful. Oh. Wow. How long did you guys have it? Huh? Actually, the guy bought it uh, last week, and then something went bad with his finances, uh, and had to had to unwind the deal and bring it back. So it came for sale yesterday. And somebody else bought it. I got somebody coming in. They said they're gonna be here at one o'clock today to pick it up. Wow. We'll see. And he a salesman too? Yep. I thought he was. That's his car. Wow. Yeah, he ordered his a while ago. Oh yeah? He's been waiting on it. <laughs> it finally came in, so he's, he's about to pack it again. <laughs> I bet. Now, what he, he y'all's money is back? Somebody had this and they brought it back? They had to. What? Oh, okay. They okay. couldn't get their financing together. Okay, okay. Uh, but before he left the dealership, it's supposed to have been pre-approved. Right. The bank came back with another stipulation and he didn't have that stipulation. He had something to do with Uber and he was making all his money through Uber and stuff like that and uh, Lyft. He had made a ton of money and that was where a lot of his income came from. Banks don't recognize that as a real job yet. Right, right. That's a, that's a gig. Yep. Wow. So, wow. It sucks Woo. for him. Yeah. He's, he said he's going to order another one once he gets everything together. So we'll see. You know how to order. This is beautiful. Oh, yeah. I this like is this beautiful. one. Next to that blue one you guys had with white interior. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, this okay. one wasn't a bad one. That Stingray R package is pretty new, so that's that that definitely adds to the look and the fact that he went paint match on the wing. I like a lot. Yes, that's that's Which it. the black wings right now are on constraint. You can't even order a black wing now. Or carbon fiber. Or well, carbon yeah, they yeah they hadn't made the carbon fiber yet. So. All right, fellas. Okay, need hey man. Appreciate oh, good seeing you again. Ah, uh, you too, man. <laughs> that's good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right, I can go now. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, yeah me too. It's hard to beat that. Yeah, man, that's, that's it, man. I, I kind of was putting some things together in the back of my mind, man. But, uh, that's it. Yeah, it's gone now. We can go. Yeah. How did you put that um, maneuver on the top of your hood? <clears throat> it's uh. uh This is John Chef, my C7 Corvette channel. Thank you, I thank you guys for tuning in to another episode. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna be keeping, I'm gonna be keeping out a lookout for the uh, and the new C8 come in. And as soon as they come in, I try to get them, get out here and put them on, uh, put it on video. Get, that way it gives you guys some kind of idea of what you want uh, on your uh, particular uh, C8 Corvette. I ask you to hit the like button, share button, subscribe to my channel. And hit the notification button so you will know when I am doing a upload. And I thank you for watching. i see you guys again in the next video. to welcome you guys back to another episode of my C7 Corvette channel. I'm the host, John Chef. And it is, it is Sunday again. And unfortunately, all the new C8s that uh, has come in has already been given out to the owners. And uh, this is the only one that I have come by. And this is uh, this this one is already uh, owned by somebody. It's in the uh, in the shop waiting to get service. But I thought I would put it on 
on camera anyway, you know, just because it was the color and the uh, torch red and the uh, interior uh, is natural. I don't think it's a L. I don't think it's a LT3. I think it's a LT2. Yeah, no, I think I think I take that bad. This got to be a LT3. It has the upgrade my uh, interior on it, in it. And she has a high wing spoiler. This dirt as you see that's all over it. this the pollen that's in there. It's unfortunately it's what you have to deal with this time of year. When the spring season starts to come up, come about. You know, all this pollen in the air. When I was younger I used to I used to was uh get really really sick from this stuff, because uh, I had an allergy to it. And as I got old I I guess I grew out of it. Yeah, but once upon a time, all, all the way up to my thirties, I was uh, I couldn't I couldn't come outside uh, and stay too long uh, because of uh, you know high pollen pollen count. I don't think I started improving until I got like probably close to fifty. I'm saying that unfortunately I think this is the only C8 that I've seen on a lot today. I'm gonna walk around some more and see if we see anything else. Yeah, I hate I hate that it had come come to this. You know, you uh, once upon a time you could come on a lot, and like I said before, you had a you had two or three rows of uh, Corvettes, uh, and then you had a parking. They had a parking lot on the other side that was full of Corvettes, and that was before the uh, you know, it was before the C8. C8 went into production. I mean, you just have, you man, yeah, quarterbacks everywhere out here. So I don't, I don't know if it's going to ever get back like that. Cause I hear, I, I hear. I hear you have a time limit on my uh, arm. Well, you can, you can wait as, as much as long as uh, three to four years to get your Z06. That's why I hear, you know, some dealership the same. It's probably true. Uh, considering the car haven't even went into production yet. And they still having problems with uh, uh, with with our suppliers trying to keep up with the uh, with the demand of the vehicle. You know, you may not even <laughs> you you may not even be able to get a magnetic magnetic ride control anymore on, on your arm uh, on the C8. 
the company that they like, partner they partnered that uh they partnered that out that they was uh doing business with the dnt uh uh They was doing business with uh, carbon fiber. Uh, that particular company went out of the business. Uh, they folded. So they had to get another partner that uh, actually uh, that did that. And, and then, like I said, they went out to get the magnetic ride control. They, they was talking about having a problem with that on some of these vehicles. And then you couldn't get that uh Pog and assist, uh, which is which is when they come come available, they gonna have you come back back into a dealership and um, and fi fix that for you. You get a fifty dollars credit for that. But yeah, man, that's, that's a lot of problems for me when it comes to the C8. You know, it's just base model and. Uh, So you can only imagine what it's gonna be like with the Z06. And I read somewhere where some of the guys that actually worked for GM when this car went into production, uh, they resigned or quit because of the anticipation of the problems that they're gonna have with this vehicle. They, they knew they was, they was building a, a vehicle. Uh, that was gonna be hot in demand, and when they they went up, it was not gonna be able to keep up with the uh, with the supply and demand of the vehicle. Not to mention all the other problems that happened. I hear it's having an oil leak problem. And then I hear some people saying they got transmission problems. It's it's ooh, it's, it's a lot. And I I didn't even have a. Uh, friend of mine that actually worked for a uh, automobile manufacturer to tell me that you never never purchase a uh, vehicle on the first year of a production because you're going to have a lot of problems out there that they need, they need to iron out so here we are in uh one, 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 two. So here we are, just just going into the third year of this uh, of, of this vehicle. I guess you can count it as third year, 2022. They had one particular C8 that was sitting out here, and uh, it was sitting out here, and it was, it was leaking all as it was sitting out here. I don't know what was wrong with it, but it, it had a whole pile of oil on, on the ground. It was that spot right there, the C8 was sitting right there, and all that come out of it. Well, I was hoping I'd be able to have a. Uh, Another exciting, uh, another exciting, uh, videos I did last week, but that don't look like it's gonna happen. Because, like I said, they had a, a nice, uh, Steamway, Steamway R. It's just special edition. And the guy that ordered that car. When he got ready to come, when well, he actually came out and picked the car up and took it home. Well, the finance company, the bank, came up with another stipulation. 
because this guy will say, uh, well, he couldn't meet those stipulations. This guy was a uh, Uber driver, and he did DoorDash, and he did Uber Eats. And I think he did some 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 other one, a Lyft or something. And the, the banks, the banks or the financial company, companies do do not recognize a gig as a job. That's what that is. It's a gig. Almost like you self-employed or a contract. So that's for you young people. I know a lot of young people doing this. You know, that's that's where you make a living. That's where you, that's where you make a living. But you need to have your uh, have your financial stuff together before you order a car. That way, it don't it don't. You know, you don't it save you the embarrassment of someone calling you and telling you you need to bring the car back uh, because of your uh, uh, financial uh, fail through, especially when you order one from the, from the factory. And I know how long he probably waited, and then his car come in, and then this happened. Talk about a big black down. I am also a business owner, and uh, when you're a business owner, you got to have your, your stuff together, you know, such as your banking and all that kind of stuff. And uh, you, you need about nine months to a, to a year of bank statement, uh, consistent, consistent uh, deposit into that account your business account uh, uh, in, in order for a bank to recognize that you are in a legitimate business within yourself and you also need an LLC you need an LLC you need an e, a EIN number and you need a bank, bank account your bank account when you open up your bank, bank account from day one, that you open up your bank account, the sooner the better. Because day one, you open up your bank, bank account, your business, business bank account. That has established the birth of your business. Even if you've been in business a year before or prior to that, two years, three years, five years, ten years, if you never have a bank, bank account, business bank account, then they're not going to count that time uh, that you've been using business before you open up bank account. Bank account tells us all. So when you open up your bank account, that's the birth of your business. So you gotta remember that. Make sure you have an LLC. Make sure you have an EIN number. And uh, it's possible to try to get yourself a, uh, a Don and uh, and, and, and Bradstreet uh, number. Not Don and Bradstreet is uh it's the credit uh bureau for the uh for the business the business as aspect of uh, uh uh finance uh so like you have a social security number for you personally you're done the best street number will be your uh will be your uh social security number for your business and also the sooner you have all this stuff set up the better if you're trying to get your a, a uh, you know a vehicle like a, uh, a C8 Corvette because you got to really have your stuff together man nowadays you know I get you a Corvette I mean when I got mine three years ago I, you know I had to have mine together and I had mine I had mine together if you got uh, if you got credit issues uh, as long as you got between Ten thousand and twenty thousand, you can get your you can get your vehicle. Oh, that's you know that that's a C7. That's a C7. If you're trying to get a C8, and you got credit issue. Man, they might want you to come up with like sixty thousand dollars for that car. That's because they are. Uh, 
still need a car, man, for a hundred thousand dollars. Some places, some places are selling for a hundred and twenty thousand. So you have to really have your stuff together when you come to purchasing yourself a uh, Corvette. And like I say, you know, the Corvette, man, it's, yeah, you might as well say it, it has ended into the exotic market. When it comes to the pricing and things like that, and you, you'll see, you guys will see once the uh, once the C uh, the C eight uh, zero six once it hit the market, uh, you'll understand why I'm, why I say that. <laughs>